Hello traders, Gary Wagner for Trending Markets, 12 noon in Honolulu, dinner time 5 o'clock in New York. It is Wednesday, November 18th, 2015 and we have a Dow Jones Industrial Average. We have an overall U.S. equities markets back on fire, fueling and trading now above a 50-day moving average in the S&P. That is significant. We will be trailing our stops higher. We've got good profits on that trade. We'll talk about that in a second. First, let's take a look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Triple digits, almost a 250-point gain, 17,737, putting it up 247 points. When we look at this market, we can see that it is making a play for these all-time highs, these record highs, in fact, go as high as about 18,300, 18,358 is the highs that we see. So in terms of any kind of potential resistance in the area, our next real level has got to be 1,800. It's a century mark and it will be important if we can just kind of glide through that. We've got another series of tops come in at 18,200. That's based on these tops here. And then finally, we have our top and our record high in the market, just shy of 18,400. Now, what does that mean for us in our current trade? Well, we are long, we're long the S&P, E mini first to the S&P uh, 208358 up about 33 points on the day and then we'll look at the contract we're trading which is the E mini closing or trading now at 2079 putting it up about 30 points on the day low 2043 high 2085 so we've seen this market swing pretty wildly throughout the day but here's what i find most impressive and this is one of the charts that we have really been utilizing for our strategy and that is when you consider the fact first of all it's a daily chart but when you consider the fact that we entered this market at roughly 23 and as this market went up this is just the other day of course we had a quiet up day yesterday and then today we just fueled but here's the thing we are now above a 50-day moving average Average. So there's a couple of places I'm looking as a potential to move our stops. Of course, the tight stop would be, be to put it just below 2059. That would be your 200 day moving average and we would look for that to hold. A stop that seems to make a little bit more sense to me, giving it a little bit more flexibility, is to place it under the low of today, which comes in at around 2043. So you can actually place your, your stop in at 2045 it's a little bit higher it would come in right around here to account for this this comes in at about 48 so I, my suggestion is to raise your stop to 2045 you're currently long at 2023 market is trading at 2079 so traders we're looking at a very short term chart that is just 240 minutes in length. It is in Japanese average format. I do have a linear regression, which is, was basically this uh, channel line that was a bear channel line that we have now broken completely above. And that to me is what is significant within this chart. Now, this is not a chart that I use for anything really but timing of the market and to see where we are on a short-term basis. So we do have that. That breakout does seem to be pretty significant. And of course, we had a basic announcement as the Fed released their minutes. And what we found when they released their minutes was that a rate hike in December is appropriate. It's still going to be data-driven. But nonetheless, nonetheless, it is something that at this point we can expect. And, and traders welcome that, which I find to be pretty significant. And so, finally, I will look at a couple of other markets crude oil basically unchanged on the day 4075 whether or not it's forming a base i believe it could still head lower back into the 38s and then lastly the dollar very quiet also on the western front 9955 we talked about the fact that we're probably going to see some sort of ceiling in the dollar uh, at least in terms of a short-term resistance move right at around 100 and we're just shy of that right in here so once again go ahead raise your stops we'll put out a trade alert that we will attach uh, to the announcement that the videos are up and online and maintain your current long position in the standard and poor's e-mini this has been gary wagner wishing you as always good trading we'll talk to you tomorrow for another trending markets bye-bye